at only four months old and four pounds, this little fella is making some huge changes in this world. Meet Turbo Roo. This little man has had a quick rise to fame. But first, let's take you back to where it all started just four short months ago, when a breeder left a then four-week-old, 13-ounce, two-legged pup at a vet clinic where vet tech <laughs> Ashley Looper fell in love immediately. She came up with the name Roo because he looked like a little kangaroo and because she carried him in her scrubs pockets like a kangaroo. The Turbo in Turbo Roo's name is based on the movie where a snail went wins the Indy 500 by his determination. Perfect. But there was immediate concerns and challenges for this tiny little pup. Initial challenges, I guess, you know, A, he was so small and he had this deformity, so I think that we weren't 100% sure his health-wise, how he was going to do, if he was going to, you know, um, basically make it through the next couple months. Um, so that was the initial challenge, just to make sure that, you know, his nutrition was there, um, you know, veterinary care was there. Um, and then basically just to get him to move around, um, you know, worrying about leaving a water dish out, you know, with him falling into it or, you know, him being so tiny. I mean, kind of everything that you wouldn't consider to be a struggle for other dogs was for him. After researching carts for dogs missing limbs, it was quickly discovered that there weren't options available for dogs under six months of age. So what does one do? Make your own. Um, so we just took a little helicopter toy that we had out in the lobby of the clinic and decided to start taking it apart and figuring something out. The first one was kind of just a scooter type thing. That didn't work at all. Um, the second one was the initial one that we made out of the helicopter wheels and copper wiring. And that image of a two-legged tiny pup in a handmade toy car is when Turbo's story went viral. Fortunately, his story caught the eye of an aerospace engineer, Mark Diedrich, and he made a better car equipped with inline skates via a newer 3D printing and shipped it free of charge to Turbo. So how did Turbo take to the new car? We put a harness on Turbo, um, and then I believe we put like a little mat underneath it just to kind of raise him up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then he, he, he started figuring out what to do. You know, Turbo figured, you know, I gotta lift up a little bit, I gotta walk a little bit, and it, it started to click after that, so. And that's when things really started to move for Turbo. In just a few months, Turbo was blowing up social media and has already tens of thousands of followers on Instagram and Facebook. And he's getting flooded with letters and gifts from fans all over the world that feel his story is helping to inspire them. Plus, Turbo just returned from a trip to New York City to be a celebrity guest of Purina's Better With Pets Summit. It was focusing on how modern technology, like his 3D printed cart, has helped pets. Turbo was a huge hit, strutting the red carpet for photographers and fans, and even getting his picture posted in Times Square. He liked it. He got to play around with people, he got to <laughs> play around with other dogs, and just kind of showing him, you know, kind of showing off. So what's in store for this pint-sized wheeled wonder? Well, besides possible future therapy work, he's already starting his own charity, Turbo Roo's Buddies, to help other dog owners that can't afford a cart, all promoted on his own website and on his social media sites, and with the help of companies like BarkBox. In the meantime, Turbo just wants to be a dog and spends his free time with his siblings, Braxton, and his favorite playmate, Naven the Rescued Kitten. Aw, best friends. So for Pet Pals TV, I'm Buffy Pine. And Turbo Roo, at a young age, has a lot of things to do and a lot of places to go.